Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has been roving southern New England since the blizzard began. He logged over 200,000, no, that's not right, over 200 miles last night. See, it's been a long night. <laughs> I think 20-something cities and towns. 200... 200,000 miles. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, I think we're closer to, we're closing in on 300. We've come back down Route 6. We're actually looking for some sledding, but it, it really does show you the mixed bag of uh, snow removal we're seeing. We, we're on... Um, we're on Route 6 in Johnston now, south of where we were. The colder spot actually has better, uh, better, uh, better, better roads at this point. Route this, this, uh, this is Route 6 right through Johnston, and you can see it still, still needs probably a couple more passes. But, of course, we're supposed to stay off the road unless it's an absolute emergency. Another thing, obviously, to keep in mind, I think we all know it, but it's a good thing to be reminded of is the, the potential for black ice out here tonight as it gets down to... Uh, to a, a horrible nine degrees. Obviously, this stuff being frozen will be like a ski slope, a bad ski slope, an icy ski slope. But even some of the clear roads, like the Route 6 we just showed you heading uh, through Situate and Gloucester, even those roads tonight, they're clear right now, but they're all damp. So all of that is going to freeze up. So staying inside, still a good idea as these crews try to not only clear the rest of these roads roads but as one official i heard say clear the um not only the side roads but the the turnoff lanes and, and the the way you need to the places you need to park if your car breaks down that's important too that will come next this is a multi-day project and we're only really on day one of just cleanup as you see us trying to negotiate a snowy route six here through johnston we'll send it back to you susan